Today we're gonna to be looking at this workflow. We have generated a cyberpunk woman here and the, specifically the nodes that we are looking at are these. So we have Sarge LM node, we have the Sarge output node here that shows us the output. And what's happening here is that we have input a prompt here. So I've input cyberpunk woman. That's all I've written. I'm loading a model here, the Mistral LLM model. And then we have instructions down here. So you have generate a prompt from prompt, which is this, right? So after that, the LLM generates this. So we have a gritty cyberpunk scene unfolds with a fierce female protagonist at its center. The image features a striking woman dressed in sleek, futuristic attire. You get the point, right? So it takes our text cyberpunk woman and gives us an, a, a long prompt, which is what Flux loves. So specifically for Flux that actually is trained on long prompts like this, this is very, very powerful. So you can just send something, you know, fantasy island. And if you queue this up, oh, and if you don't recognize the user interface here, uh, this is actually the new comfy user interface. So if you want to see how that works, you can just go into the settings down here and here in the menu, you can select uh, top or bottom here. Disable this the old user interface. So instead of our fantasy island prompt now, we got a breathtaking fantasy island emerges as a vibrant and lush setting in this digital illustration. Yada, yada, yada. You can see all the text here. I'm not going to waste your time by reading it all. And as you can see, this is our image. So this is super, super powerful. What we have done is we have connected from the generated to a clip text encoder. So usually it will look something like this, right? So, so this is an old um, prompt box. So if you want to build this yourself, you just take one of these and you convert widget to input, convert text to input, and then you can drag a text input into that box. Uh, there are actually three nodes that you can use. So let's sort this by alphabetical. Let's go check your Sarge LLM. And then you actually have an advanced nodes options as well. So you can drag that over there if you want to change some of this. But let's get this installed on your machines. So I put together a short little guide up on my Patreon. It's available for everyone. Right now there's more content over there for paid subscribers. So this link is going to be in the description. Uh, the workflow that we saw, this one basically without all the mess I made, is going to be available for download. So just check the link, this one down here. And what you need to do is go into your manager. So let's do all of this right now, yeah? So here we have a version without the nodes installed. We're going into the manager up here. You can either select install missing custom nodes if you are dragging and dropping the workflow, or you can go into the custom nodes manager and actually search for such LLM. And here you have it, install that. There are multiple versions of LLM nodes. The reason I like this one is it's uh, simplified. It's easy to use, it doesn't have a lot of feature creep. And well, I know the developer a little bit and he's a great guy. You also need to uh, restart your comfy and we also need to download this model right here. So this is a hugging face link. If you click this, you will be able to download that. And then you need to create a director inside Comfy UI models, and this is the directory LLM underscore GGUF. So it would look something like this. You would go into your Comfy folder, models, LLM underscore GGUF. You need to create this directory, so make sure you do that, and then drop that model in there. And that's basically it. Then you're done. And now, if you have restarted, you need to actually press refresh, so either Control R or press this little button up here, depending on your browser. And now your Sarge LLM should load. We can test this out quickly. You can see that the model is, is loaded here. If it is not, make sure it's in the folder. Press refresh, which is this button here. Or in the older interface, it was in this little menu on the side. It just said refresh. So it depends on which version you're at. So let's try Mercenary Cat. We're generating this as it's coming in live. Now we can see we have this. A gritty and action-packed illustration presents a menacing feline character who embodies the essence of a ruthless mercenary. Yada yada yada. And here we have our little mercenary cat made with uh, the flux. And we're actually using the NF4 model. It's up to you what you want to use. But bear in mind, this LM model is going to be hugging a little extra of your VRAM. So that can be an issue for people. 
Now, what you can do if you are testing this and you are getting out of memory issues, sometimes you can use uh, a, a, like a easier flex model. You can use the NF4. You can test one of the lighter Q versions. But if that's still not enough, I recommend that you go try a cloud solution. You have Think Diffusion, for example. You just launch the app. Uh, we have Comfy here. We actually have, if you go to the beta version, you actually have an ultra 48 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, but from 16 gigs to 24 to 48 so that should cover most needs i mean i'm only on 24 gigs so that is no issue at all so that should cover most people from local installation to cloud solution for the people that either don't want to have a local install or can't because of vram requirements so i think this is super cool to be honest the cool thing about this is this isn't only you know final thing right you can actually change the instructions so i mean you don't have to have a prompt here you can just say generate a random image prompt and if we do this and we press q you can see here now we got just a completely random prompt so whimsical dreamlike landscape unfolds as an ethereal sunset bathes the scene in a warm golden light so let's see the subject is a group of fantastical creatures among clouds and wildflowers let's see what that looks like so here we have a completely random prompt and we can just go back and we can change um, this to whatever we want because this is an llm right so this can take any input write me a short novel about a parrot and if we do that it's gonna write me a short novel about the parrot. Now it has a max tokens here. So this is what you can change for the length here. We got the title, Feather Tales, the Enigma Parrot. So I think in our Im image here, we're actually gonna get a title, but uh, let's see about that. So you can treat this as your own little chat GPT. Now we didn't get a title actually in the image, but we got a little parrot here. So that was a little unlucky, but uh, it is what it is. Let's type here, okay octopus with socks title above reads sock sock octopus let's see if we can uh, get something out of that in an imaginative and whimsical illustration titled Socktopus, an octopus is depicted sporting colorful quirky socks so let's see if we get that oh it doesn't seem like we are getting that so let's see if we can generate a second time so we got an octopus that is wearing well sort of socks i don't know did that work? I don't know what socks on octopus or octopi would look like. Anyway, um, I want to take a moment and remind you guys that we have in my Discord or our Discord, the community Discord, the weekly challenge. That's been going on for 86 weeks now. So we are currently on the 87th challenge. And uh, these are some of the winners from previous challenges. If you want to take part in the challenge, just go into the Discord. Uh, all the links are going to be in somewhere on the channel uh, description or uh, the video description too, I guess. And every week there is a new challenge and a new winner. And let's check out this week. So we have this week's challenge is the Humanitarianism Art and Media Contest. So it runs currently from Wednesday to Wednesday. So go check that out. It's available in Discord and the link in the description. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.